Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Nathan. Just want to say uh, good morning, everyone, both East and West Coast. If you guys are enjoying your day today here on a Thursday, and you guys are also looking forward to the weekend coming up, starting tomorrow on Friday. And for this video today, a tune in alert. The Unrushes marks 11K today, meaning their 11th episode is today. So let's go right into it. The link will be in the description down below. It's from uh, SoapOperDigest.com, posted on the 1st of September. Uh, 2016, the new month of September, uh, posted today here on Thursday of this week, and it says, It's a can't-miss day in Genoa City as YNR celebrates 11,000 episodes in explosive style. There's an emotional reunion between Neil, Christoph St. John, and his absentee mother, L Lucinda, played by Star Trek alum Nichelle Nichols, who will play uh, Yura. Nikki and Victor are hit with a crisis, and Paul and Christine receive a pleasant surprise. Tune in. By Soap Opera Dodgers. So, uh, guys, today's day, uh, The Unrustless celebrates their 11th episode on television and daytime television history. And for me, as a, y as, as a fan of YNR, someone who watches the show still this day, even though there are times where the writing can be good and bad, you know, I have to say, um, ever since Molly Gunn came into, uh, came to, you know, uh, CBS Day Time and The Unrustless, he has been doing a a great job when it comes to the production, when it comes to the influence of the show, and when it comes to, you know, the history, too. I mean, and even though Chuck Pratt is still there as the head writer, um, you know, I think that the show was starting to improve a little bit here and there, and, you know, I think that the icing of the cake will just have to be Chuck Pratt being fired or being let go from his post as head writer, as head writer or bringing a co-head writer who can balance things out with Chuck Pratt. Plain and simple. Uh, because to me, I think that as much as there's been a pretty much when it comes to Bobby Young's influence, what he's been doing behind the scenes at White R, um, you know, I think that Chuck Pratt's writing is still there. So you're going to have to make a change uh, after the 11th episode's over and, uh, you know, try to go in a different direction when it comes to the creative team of the other wrestlers. But as far as the show goes overall, um, you look at the ups and downs, you look at those who should have been, should not have been let go, uh, such as, for example, Jerry Douglas, who plays the great John Abbott. Um, and, you know, John Abbott, you know, pops him here and there as the ghost of spirit of, uh, for Jack and Ashley and, and Billy, too, um, to, you know, try to get their lives back together. And you look at Drusilla, I mean, played by Victoria Rao. She should not have been let go on the show as well. I mean, she has so much to offer in the show, and she could have been the one that could have led the show um, you know, for viewers to watch. Um, other characters, too. I mean, there's so many you can go through, but, you know, YNR is still number one show. YNR is still, you know, the show that's on top of the rest. And, you know, I have to give my props and kudos to not only just the show, but also the cast in general. And look at the characters there who have been with the show, uh, you know, since, I think, day one. I think the, uh, the one who was there since day one was... Um, Jenny Cooper who played Catholic Chaucer, um, you know, and some of those who came on the way. I mean, uh, Christoph St. John, you know, who played, uh, who currently plays Neil. I mean, he's been through, uh, his character has been through so much and over these past, over over the many years in YNR, from the ups and downs, from the marriages, from the divorces, the, uh, the deaths. And don't forget Victor Newman. I mean, who could ever forget, you know, uh, he is the uh, backbone of the show, I guess you can say, when it comes to what he does and what he, uh, when it comes to, you know, his character, Eric Breen's character, Victor Newman, of his actions and, you know, trying to protect his family, as he want, as he always says. Um, you know, and to me, I think that the show still has a very bright future ahead of them. Um, I, I still think, though, you have to get rid of Chuck Pratt in order to... Um, you know, in order to, you know, elevate the rank to a higher level, you know, because as much as I do, as much as, I mean, I admit, I don't like Chuck Pratt's writer, but there are some times where his writing can be very, uh, can be good or bad, be in the middle for me. Um, so I do like some of his writing, but overall, I think he still has to go. But as far as why not uh, celebrating their love those episode, they deserve it, they earned it, and here's to, it's my, uh, uh, Carol Juice, here's two. Another thousand episodes more, guys. So tell me in the console, guys, what you think about this. Do you like it? Do you not like it? 
Are you moon neutral about the uh, Love Ghost episode of Why Not, which is today? Um, did you like it? Do you not, do you not like it? Are you middle neutral about it? If so, tell me in the uh, subscribe down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget always to subscribe to my channel, guys. And also next time, as they say, peace. Take care. I will see you guys there. Make sure you're coming out there on the afternoon tonight, tomorrow, or in a couple of minutes. So, stay tuned. So, also next time, take care, guys. I will see you guys there. Peace. Have a good Thursday, guys. Enjoy your day today. Don't forget, uh, those of you guys on the West Coast, uh, currently, Weinar is in your 11th, the 11th episode today, right now. So, you don't want to miss out on anything. It looks like to be a very good episode. And for those of you guys um, on the East Coast, you guys already probably saw it too. So, uh, happy uh, watching the show, and we'll see you guys later.